Hello and welcome to our video series on Biblical Prophets in the Ancient Near East. What we've done here is we've created a virtual rendition of the Ancient Near East to better portray the historical context through which the Prophets produced their work. This is the Ancient Near East. It is located in the southwestern corner of Asia, and on the western coast is the Mediterranean Sea. To the southwest is Egypt. This land set the stage for a large majority of the Old and New Testament. To the west we have modern day Israel, the promised land of the Old Testament. We see the Sea of Galilee, and we can follow the Jordan River down to the Dead Sea. This land, Syria, and up and over to the northeast makes up the Fertile Crescent, a much more abundant area than the southern desert due to the Tigris and the Euphrates rivers. For centuries, nations recognized this land as valuable, and for this reason, Mesopotamia has been fought over and conquered by many superpowers throughout history. This video covers 790 to 746 BC. This time can be seen as sort of the calm in the eye of the storm. Earlier, Assyria had claimed dominion on the majority of the ancient Near East. However, this period is marked as the Assyrian decline. This is a prosperous time in the nations of Judah and Israel. Using this reprieve from foreign superpowers, they grow in strength and territory. Assyria, to the northeast, has receded to its smallest area of influence. And we see Babylon here, to the south, straddling the Tigris and the Euphrates. They really take the back seat until around the exile period when they emerge as Neo-Babylon. The main king of Israel during this time period is Jeroboam II and the Old Testament prophets prophesying during this time are Jonah and Amos. Jonah's narrative depicts him actually traveling up to Nineveh, up east. It emphasizes God's compassion and warns the northern kingdom of Israel not to be disobedient and unforgiving like Jonah. Amos's ministry is marked by preceding a large earthquake. He prophesied judgment on Israel, accusing them of apostasy alongside the nations. This warning of judgment contrasts the prosperous time.